Welcome to Manage to Engage, the podcast from clearandopen.com, dedicated to the evolution of you because businesses grow when people do. Serving leaders, managers, and people who will be, helping you reach excellence in your work and achieve your personal goals at the same time. Sign up for the free course at clearandopen.com. Whatever it was that created the avoidance or created the anxiety or created the stagnation or whatever it is, probably I can never make this limitation go away completely, but I don't know what's possible inside that limitation. I'm going to find out. But I accept the limitation. Let me see how far I can push it. Hi, it's Joseph, and thanks for tuning in to Manage to Engage, the podcast from clearandopen.com. We like to tell ourselves the story that we're not doing enough or haven't gotten far enough. We like to focus on the one time we fail over the many times we take small steps forward. For some reason, we like to pursue perfection as a goal. And then we give up when we fail because it's impossible. And that's not being fair to ourselves. There's no perfection in progress, and you're never going to get anywhere trying to achieve it. This episode starts a four-part series on how you can stop getting in the way and just start letting reality win, beginning with your relationship to what healthy and normal progress looks like. I'll give you a hint, that entails throwing out perfection. I offer weekly member webcasts and teach live courses on clearandopen.com because I believe with the right tools, anyone can eliminate the people, money, and time problems holding them back in business. And I share these parts of the webcasts and courses on this show because I want to help you too. If you're enjoying the show and learning from it, I'd love your feedback. If you're listening to the show on an Apple device, all you have to do is open up the podcast app, click the podcast cover art, and click the link to leave a rating and review for the show. Thanks so much for listening. Let's dive in. I remember it was, I think it was November 2nd or 3rd. I was taking a walk on a Sunday and just talking to myself about, gee, I wonder, I forget what the things were. And just repeating something you said before, I don't know what's, what I'm capable of. Um, how do I know what I'm capable of? Well, I don't know until I try. And it, I, I, there was a couple of concrete examples. You know, I don't know how much I can I'm make in profit in the next uh, uh, 10 months until I try. I don't know how, how much I can hold my, uh, my guys accountable until I give it a shot and, and how much they're capable of unless I give them until I give them a chance and just feeling, wow, there's all these possibilities that I'm, that I shut myself off of habitually over the years that are possibilities that are really open to me if I'm willing to open my eyes and, and go, go into that space. Beautiful. That was an, ex- it was kind of an inspiring walk that day. So there's a lot of little things that are, that are contributing to this. I get that. Yeah. And you, what you're speaking to when you say all the little things in, in one way, you're speaking to the nature of practice. You've been practicing this for a while. Yeah. And you, when you said you have a long way to go, I wanted to say, you, perhaps you think so, but it appears that life doesn't think so at the moment. Hmm. You okay. see, because life is rewarding you. So at least at the moment is far enough. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, I love the humility of I have a long way to go, but watch out for how you score yourself. Right. As if you know the, like, well, I'm 20% of the way there and 21.7% there, and I need to get to 83.5% until blah, blah. And life is like, yeah, right. Like, you know. <laughs> sure, sure. Well, I say it because there's still things I'm avoiding. Like I've had, I've had on my on my task list, I've had a project about creating this the morning routine that you spoke about a few months ago, and uh, the the things to remember and the mm-hmm. affirmations. I actually, it's funny because I was I was avoiding this uh, um, things to remember list, and I realized, and I went back and oh, I actually created that like three weeks ago, and mm-hmm. I forgot that I had, but I felt I guess I must have felt like I had more to do. So I, I put more on it, and and as I was doing one of the one of the the which I of course I haven't finished yet is the uh, Clear Workspace Open Mind. So I'm going back to finish it, and uh, I thought of a couple more things to put on the list this morning. So mm-hmm. I just added to that. And but look what you're saying here. There's you, you, there's still some things you're avoiding. 
Yeah, because, you know, life's not going to bring you all of your dreams until you absolutely never avoid anything ever again and achieve total perfection, don't you know, right? Right. So that's that's the thing that I, I want to impress upon all of you guys. Whatever your thing is, it doesn't have to disappear. Whatever your vice is, whatever your pattern is, whatever your issue is, it doesn't have to disappear. And I think that's part of how the shadow convinces us not to even try, right? Where it's just like, oh, well, you, you know, you're trying to quit sugar and, you know, you had, you still had a half a piece of cake today, even though, you know, every day for the last month, you've had a whole one. See, you're still breaking down. You're still pathetic. It's not going to work. You'll never lose the pounds. You'll never get the energy you want. You might as well just give up and eat the whole piece of cake every day. What's the point? Right? You know what I'm talking about? That's the story. Yep. Yeah. Where it's like, unless it's total, utter perfection and instantaneous shift in being at all levels, it's not worth it. So you might as well just do whatever you want. Oh man, is that a clever argument? It's bullshit, actually. It's, it is. It isn't, true. it isn't true. Yeah. Because there's no such thing as perfection. It's the most imperfect, imperfect idea there is. The idea of human perfection. When you said that, I realized that I do that with my anxiety. I'm mm. not successful unless it's completely gone. Yes. Yeah. And, you know, one of the great metaphors for that is, um, you know, with, uh, I love when there's physical uh, analogs to emotional stuff. You know, if, if you're hurt really badly physically, it leaves a scar, you know, or a limp or some permanent thing like you heal, but something is left behind, you know. And you can get scarred emotionally too. And that doesn't mean it isn't healed. It just it's sort of like whatever happened becomes a part of you. You know, you ever have that, uh, you know, you, I think, you know, you're in your forties where, you know, you hurt yourself in some way or, you know, cut yourself and you, and you look down at the scar or the, you know, the joint and you're like, well, I'm having that for the rest of my life. Like, that's it. This just became a part of me. You just know. I remember I was just thinking the other day when I had uh, I injured my knee in Marsuaris years ago. And the surgeon, of course, is like, oh, your knee's going to be as good as new. And I remember the first day of physical therapy and the PT was like, oh, your knee will never be the same. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. And like, yeah, she was right. My knee has never been the same. And it's been a limitation. I just work around that, that knee injury is a part of me. Is it healed? Well, yeah, I mean, mostly I can do just about whatever I want to do, but it's always there. So if I have the mindset of like, I can never achieve physical, my physical performance goals without even noticing how my left knee is weaker than my right knee, if that's my frame, I'll be forever a failure, right? That, that's a recipe for suffering. But if you look through the lens of, okay, this happened, whatever it was that created the avoidance or created the anxiety or created the stagnation or whatever it is, whatever created that thing in you, if you think of it as asymptotic, that's the curve that approaches the line but never reaches it, and you go, well, I don't know, probably I can never make this limitation go away completely, but I don't know what's possible inside that limitation. I'm going to find out. But I accept the limitation. Let me see how far I can push it. And what if that's the orientation? Because what, what you'll find, what Peter's been speaking about, what you'll find is when you get to some critical mass, which unfortunately you don't get to know what that is, life will reward you. But that's the problem. It's, it's not like, you know, well, when you can, you know, squat, when you can full squat 190 pounds, then, you know, boom, it's all downhill from there and you'll be in peak performance. Or when you can not avoid four out of seven things, then the leads are really going to come your way. You don't get to know. 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 And then we hate that. And then the shadow says, that sucks. We don't get to know that. What's the point? I hate that. <laughs> Your shadow hates that. A shadow hates that. Yeah, it's not like a, it's not a, you don't win the race or you, you don't get a trophy. It's subtle changes. And yes. It's hard sometimes. Yeah, it is hard. Because you don't know how much you've progressed. 
that's why it's helpful to have somebody kind of let you know where, where you are in the, you know, absolutely. That helps practicing a kind of surrender orientation to life. That helps. I tell myself all the time, life is an adventure or it's nothing. That's the Helen Keller. Is it true quote. though that you, you can't know where you are and where you've progressed? Like Kurt said that, but you can't know absolutely. Yeah. Can't know absolutely. And and but certainly, you know, that's where metrics and indicators and journaling and friends and coaches, all that kind of stuff can help. Absolutely. Well, not absolutely. Very much. There's another adverb that's been destroyed. Absolutely. Yeah, because I mean, it's different than, okay, well, I want this amount of sales this year and, and then achieving those, those numbers or whatever. It's just it's different. Yeah, and even with sales, you know, like with any goal, like we're, we're in New Year's resolution territory now and, you know, millions of people around the world are going to set goals. <laughs> and, right? This is, it's tragic. I mean, there should be like an executive order about them. Like, okay, here's how you're going to relate to new year's resolutions from now on. Because the pattern is people set them. Ask anybody who owns a gym. I had uh, some clients who had a uh, three gold gyms in the Southeast U S and you can see the new year's resolutions in their member retention stats because they, they can track people, new memberships, ending memberships. They can track attendance and they can see what happens to new year's resolutions every year. Every year, right? Beginning like this December 15th, the memberships start to go up. And they peak between, you know, like January 3rd and January 15th. And then there's a big attendance increase. And then by March 15th, it's back where it was before Thanksgiving. On some of this, like uh, when we first started working together, I put together KSI. Some of them were metrics that were sales, very easy to understand. And others were qualitative but you encouraged me to write a legend for, you know, what's it look like if you're doing this super poorly? What's it look like if it's near perfection? And then like, could you use that sort of measurement to, to take something that doesn't have a metric, describe the different possibilities and use that to measure where you're at? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. You could do that with something like avoidance. What's a plus 10 relationship to avoidance what's a minus 10 relationship to avoidance you could plot that out i mean just the exercise of sitting down and creating that would probably do a lot even if you never used it but if you were to use something like that you could use that at the end of every day i've done stuff like that have a a metric where you know you you look at your goals for being or goals for doing or whatever it is the beginning of the day and then rate yourself at the end of the day. It's, it's definitely a way of keeping score, but no matter what you do, and believe me, I've done so many of these kinds of things, no matter what you do, no matter what you create, your shadow has the um, uh, incredible power to doubt that any of it is working and tell you and convince you that nothing's changing. Woe is you. There's no point. It, It will do that no matter what kinds of tools you have. Yeah, and I've had a little bit of ex- a little bit of experience with that lately, and I've caught myself, you know, negative self talk and stuff like that, and, and um, it is a practice for sure. Mm-hmm. To really say, hey, you don't even need to ask a question. That's not true. So <laughs> let's keep moving in the direction we want to go in. It's really a practice. Yeah, there. Oh, all of these are different doors into the same thing. You know, being bigger than the shadow. So the, the, you know, the metrics are great support. They're terrific to have. And sometimes more powerful than all of that is just the question, is that really true? Knowing that it's not. Sometimes that's more powerful. Sometimes just drinking a couple of shots of espresso and running around the block a few times is you know, the, what the doctor orders. Sometimes I just need to take my machete and go out and beat back the jungle for an hour or two to feel alive again something so primal about using a machete. (laughs) Thanks for listening to Manage to Engage, the clear and open podcast. Join us next week when you'll be a little bit closer to who you're destined to be. Until then, know that Clear and Open is dedicated to the evolution of you because businesses grow when people do.
Be sure to visit clearandopen.com for the latest tools, articles, and free resources to help you on your journey. Thanks for listening and bye for now.